The best part of owning an ultra-wide monitor like this one is multitasking. When you have a lot of screen space to work with, having multiple windows open at once is effortless. But the monitor, what we see, is only half of the experience. What about the audio, what we hear? How does multitasking sound? Well, if you're like me, multitasking can sound pretty rough, and I find myself constantly tweaking the volume of everything. It's frustrating, and I thought I'd be stuck fighting with the Windows volume mixer forever. Until I made a discovery. This is the PC Panel Mini. It's a digital audio controller. It has four dials, or knobs, for controlling volume, and you can assign a different program to each knob. For example, one knob can control the volume of your music on Spotify, while the other knob could control the volume of voice chat on Discord, all with the flick of the wrist. But this box of knobs can do a lot more than just control volume. The PC panel is hiding some seriously powerful tools for productivity, and I think a lot of people could benefit from a device like this on their desk. Let's get into it. This is the PC Panel Mini, and I will say that straight out of the box, I was impressed by the build quality on this guy. The enclosure is almost entirely made of aluminum, and the knobs are metal as well. It feels premium. It feels like a piece of gear that will last. I like that. I also really like these knobs, which leads us to this device's killer feature. Volume control for individual applications. Let's say I'm at my desk playing a game. In order to play the game at my peak performance, I require filthy trap beats on blast from Spotify at all times. Oh, and while I play, sometimes I like to chat with friends on Discord. That's three separate applications generating sound on my PC at once. Now in the past, I'd have to constantly alt-tab out of my game or minimize Discord to go mess with the Windows volume mixer. It was painful. But now, all my volume control is handled by the PC panel on my desk. To adjust the volume of each program, I just turn the knobs. And these knobs are also clickable buttons, and you can program what each button does. For the first two buttons, I have them set up as mute switches. If I want to kill the audio from Spotify or from Discord, I just click one of these buttons and it mutes the audio instantly. But this last knob, hmm, it's special. When I click this knob, it toggles the output of the audio on my computer, so with a single click, I can switch between speakers and headphones. This is a seriously underrated feature. If you're like me and switch between your headphones and your speakers at your desk a lot, this may be your single favorite feature on the PC panel. You may have also noticed the RGB lighting, and this is where this device begins to become more than just a volume controller. Let me demonstrate. These colors are not random. You see, this knob controls Spotify, and so I've colored it green. And this knob here controls my Discord volume, so I chose the color purple. These are the colors I associate with these applications, and it makes it easy to remember which knob controls what at a glance. But it gets better. Because as I turn the volume down, you can see the brightness on the RGB lighting going down. And when I turn the volume up, it gets brighter. This is a brilliant feature because I can easily see what the volume of each application is without opening the Windows volume mixer or even touching the knobs. Now don't get me wrong, this thing can absolutely put on a light show if you want it to, but I really dig how the lights on this device give me actual information at a glance. This brings me to the PC panel software experience, and in short, this is some of the best software I've seen for a desk gadget or keyboard, period. You can control what turning each knob does, and as you can see, I have this first knob set to control the volume of Spotify, but you can do so much more with this software. You could use the buttons to launch programs, or you could use the buttons to play, pause, or skip music. You can even program the buttons to perform a series of keystrokes like a macro pad. To sum things up, the PC panel software is easy to use, but it has a ton of functionality that I was not expecting. I purchased this device to control audio, but after experimenting with the software, it's clear that this device can be used as a productivity tool as well. So the device is easy to use, but where can you put it on your desk? Well, you have quite a few options because this device connects to your PC with a single USB cable. This means you can place the PC panel just about anywhere on your desk. When I first got mine, my intention was to mount it under my desk. After all, it does come with some mounting strips, and I thought the under the desk look was super clean and would keep audio controls close by at all times. 
But after discovering that this device is secretly a macro pad and seeing how useful the RGB lighting is for checking volume at a glance, I decided to move this guy up to first class and keep him on top of the desk and in close range of my mouse and keyboard. The inclusion of rubber feet on the bottom of the device means you can use this to route cables on your desk if you're into that sort of thing. I'll close this video out with some info on pricing and my personal recommendations. At the time of recording this video, the PC Panel Mini is in stock and selling for 70 US dollars. Look, it's not cheap, but it's a well-made product that solves a very specific problem for me. I was tired of fighting with the Windows volume mixer to manage the audio of the different programs on my computer. And this device makes multitasking with audio a much less painful process. It's worth mentioning that a lot of boutique desk gadgets come with half-baked software that sometimes works and sometimes does not, but that is not the case with PC Panel. The software is easy to use and very capable, and that is a big selling point for me. When you factor in the premium build quality and the on-desk aesthetics of this device, I think the $70 asking price is pretty fair. As far as drawbacks go, you should know that this device is for Windows PCs only. I know it should be obvious with a name like PC Panel, but as a user of both Mac OS and Windows, I'd love to see some level of Mac support in the future. Look, with the PC Panel, you are essentially getting the perfect hardware controller for programs like Discord and Spotify. And this alone makes it a worthy inclusion in my desk setup. And if you, like me, are tired of fighting with Windows to level your volume, the PC panel may be a perfect addition to your setup as well. Thank you all for watching. My name is Nick Moe, and welcome back to Work From Hype. I'm always on the hunt for new ways to upgrade my desk setup, and to share the good and the bad and the lessons learned with YouTube. If you want to come along for the ride, be sure to subscribe. Big time shout outs to all the early subscribers and supporters on this channel. I see you, I appreciate you, and I will catch you all in the next one.